tonight on Sports Saturday. The calendar has flipped, and it's officially March. That means plenty of college hoops. Could the tide ruin Texas A&M Senior Day on the road, or would it be a long ride home from the brothos? Uh, it seemed like everything that could go wrong went wrong. We have the full recap. Plus, Kentucky was looking for perfection, but would the Gators make this Saturday bite for the Cats? Like we're going into this, <laughs> this, this is a hard game. We've got hoops, we've got baseball, softball, gymnastics, and tennis. Oh, and a former quarterback throwing a baseball. I never want any controversy. Thanks, AJ. So saddle up. We've got so much sports, it makes me want to dance. Yeah, just like that. It's Sports Saturday, and it starts right now. And with that, we say welcome in, everybody. It's going around, Jen. The madness. It struck twice today in conference tournaments. For the first one, Missouri Valley. Illinois State upsets eighth-ranked Wichita State. Then tonight in the OVC, it's Belmont. The Bruins taking down 25th-ranked Murray State. They become the first team to officially punch their ticket to the big dance. How about that? Nothing quite starts a show like a couple of upsets to start Sports Saturday. I'm B.J. Milliken. And I'm Jen Chapman, and that must mean that we are we now in the best month. We are in March. March. Best. All right, well, the Alabama team trying to get a little momentum heading into the SEC tournament so they can stay alive in March. Yeah. But first, they would have to upset Texas A&M on the road today. And Upsets it going around. <laughs> and it wouldn't be easy, though, right, BJ? <laughs> to recap the first half, we're going to need a montage. That's the right. Aggies held Alabama to 32% shooting from the field and jumped out to a 14-point halftime lead. Levi Randolph only yeah, two points at half. Obviously, That's unlike him at all. Retno Basahan, zero. But the second half was different. Different. Retton drives in the lane and hits the nice spinning layup. The Tide were back up by six. And then the captain joins the fun. Levi from distance drains that to give Bama their first lead since the 15-minute mark of the first half to cap it off. Watch the hustle. Levi goes coast to coast off the miss. The hoop and the harm. He finishes with 11 points, nine boards. Less than two in the game, and it's Retton Obasahan. Waffles! The acrobatic layup. That gave Bama a one-point lead. All 12 of his points came in the second half. Aggies had one shot to win it. No good. Peyton Allen shot off the mark, and it's the Crimson Tide with a huge come-from-behind win on the road, 61-60. to Here's Coach Grant. You know, for us in the first half, it uh, seemed like everything that could go wrong went wrong. Uh, Texas A&M had a lot to do with it, but then even things that we could control weren't going for us. But proud of our guys because they never wavered. They, they stayed with it. Uh, we talked about the last two or three minutes of the first half. We felt like uh, we played with the energy that we needed to be playing with the whole time and with the sense of urgency. And we felt like in the second half, we just wanted to chip away. We just wanted to come out and compete and battle and do what we felt like we were capable of doing and make a game out of it. And our guys really did that. I thought they, they answered the bell. And there's a very good team uh, that we, we were able to get today. Uh, so I think it's a, a great win for our team as we had an SEC play. And it was a 24 to 6 run to start the second half to help the Tide win the game. Also, hitting just one three pointer in the first half. Bama knocked down five in the second, including two by Dakota Slaughter. Alabama will open SEC tournament, tournament, tur <laughs> tournament play Thursday. Nailed at that time. In Nashville against the Florida Gators. First, Funny so enough, let's go back to the yeah. waffles comment because my face was like, what? Yeah, she had no idea. Waffles. Belgium. That's yes, where because Retton, Retton is Obasan from Belgium. Is from. That's right. And apparently Chris Stewart has said waffles before. He absolutely has. I have to credit Chris with that one. Wow. Anyway, okay. so <laughs> let's get back on, on script, these words that we have to read. Uh, the Florida Gators, we were talking about, Alabama will play them Thursday in the SEC tournament, and they had the final opportunity to end Kentucky's ridiculous 30-game winning streak. And they could also keep the Cats from becoming the first power conference team since Indiana in 1975-76 season to finish the regular season undefeated. Nice. Coach Calipari and his undefeated Wildcats trying to keep it a perfect regular season. Roadblock. Florida, not really. Game tied at 23. <laughs> Devin Booker behind the arc. Boom. Drains that three. And Wildcats go up by three. Then check this out. Carl Anthony. Oh, oh behind the back nice. to Trey Lyles in the paint. That was for two. The Gators put up a good fight, but the Wildcats begin to pull away, starting with another Booker three. 
Kentucky wins 67 to 50. They remain untouched heading into the SEC tournament. A perfect 31 and 0. It's pretty good. Two 18th ranked Arkansas hosting LSU on the Razorback Senior Day. A frenzy final few minutes. Arkansas up by one, and LSU miss turns into this. A Michael Qual slam to put Arkansas up by three. Then with under a minute to go, Tim Quarterman kicks it out to Jalen Peterson. Patterson, he buries the three, and it's all locked up at eight. Arkansas with a chance to pull ahead, but denied by Jarrell Martin. Huge block there. He had 27 points. Time ticking down. Is this one going to go to OT? No. Keith Hornsby, he gives the Tigers the upset. They win. 81 to 78. He's fired up too. Get off me. Auburn hosting Georgia on senior day for KT Harrell. But watch the big man run the floor. This is Simeon Bowers. Finishes at the hoop. The layup plus the foul. 11 points, five boards for him. The aforementioned senior, KT Harrell, went off in this game. He buries the three here. One of his four trays in this one. Finishing with 24, but it was not enough. 15 points for Charles Mann. 16 for JJ Frazier. The dogs win 64-61. That's a dog. <laughs> Here's the rest of the scores around the league. Mississippi State with their biggest league win of the year. South Carolina slams Tennessee on the road, and Vanderbilt blows by Ole Miss in Oxford. So the SEC tournament now set. It begins Wednesday in the Music City. Alabama knows who they will play. What about their bracket? It's Florida for the Tide, but everyone, of course, trying to avoid the yep. top-ranked cat side of the bracket. Alabama was unfortunately Duh. unable to do that. Should they beat Florida on Thursday, they would play Kentucky on Friday. Anthony Grant has never beaten Billy Donovan in nine meetings, but I'm an optimist, and if it's going to happen, it's March, and that's what it's all about. It's about the upsets, that's and right. they can do it. So a tall task, but if you're going to snap a streak, what better way to do it than right Absolutely, now. in Nashville. And they could play well. You never know. If they can maybe channel some Wimp Sanderson. So we're going to find out if they can do that on Thursday. I know it's the offseason, though, but can we talk a little football? Is that permitted? I think it's always allowed. Look at that. Here. Up next, we're going to talk to A.J. McCarron. He's going to throw a baseball, too. Plus, updates on two former Crimson Tide players agreeing to deals in the NFL. Stay with us. Sports Saturday continues right after the break. Former Alabama quarterback A.J. McCarron was loosening his arm up last night in Mobile, but not to throw a football. He threw out the first pitch at the Lipscomb-Alabama game, and it was a pretty good one, too. The former All-State baseball player at St. Paul's addressed a budding quarterback controversy in Cincinnati that was sparked by his coach's compliments. I never want any controversy. Um, I wanted to, you know, us both to go out and compete and try to make each other better. And um, when the season comes around, it's my job to support him and try to help him in whatever way I can. So, um, you know, good comments from uh, coach are, are, are great, but um, Andy's still the starter. And, uh, you know, I'm working my way to hopefully get there one day. And here's an update on tonight's game. Alabama did fall 7-3. That score is now a final. They will play game three tomorrow at 2 p.m. Well, we're getting closer to the NFL draft, but today was the unofficial start of free agency. It doesn't officially open until Tuesday. That's right, but two former Alabama players opted to stay with their current teams today. The New Orleans Saints agreed to terms with Mark Ingram on a four-year, $16 million deal. That's going to keep the former Heisman Trophy.